Hello and welcome back to Jacob's Toys 5 Minute Figure Reviews. Please do like, share, subscribe, all of those things. All support to the channel is very much appreciated. In this video we are taking a look at Marvel Legends Spider-Man No Way Home, the black and gold suit. And there are going to be spoilers ahead, so if you've not seen the film yet, proceed with caution. So here we go, here is the black and gold suit. And in the box we get two web swinging hands. And that's about it. Also we get the builder figure uh, Armadillo uh, left leg. So this guy is huge when you look at him next to the figure, he is massive. So we'll have a look at him in a later video, but for now, let's focus on the figure. Now obviously these figures were announced before the film came out and there was a lot of speculation about what this red, uh, black and gold suit was going to be. Um, obviously you've got little red, uh, little red arms here as well, and you later found out from promotional images that these were inaccurate. But obviously the guys at Hasbro were working off of um, concept art, so that's why we have the red arms here. Now there was a lot of speculation about what this suit was going to be, and obviously it turned out to be nothing other than the original suit just turned inside out because it got dirty. Which is a bit of an anti-climax for something that looks so cool in the promotional artwork. However, it did get a little bit of screen time, and I'm personally really pleased to add it to my Spider-Man uh, MCU collection, just because it is one of his looks, so why not have it on the shelf? Here is the recently released um, upgraded suit, which we got as, a, as an exclusive, which came with the unmasked head, etc., and the updated details. And next to each other, you can pretty much see that they are the same mold. They're the same figure, just with a different paint app, which is really nice. It's nice to see that they use the same mold, um, as opposed to using a different mold, because then it really does look like the same costume reversed. So it's quite accurate to the to the screen. Now a lot of people have complained about these red forearms and have painted them and added black and stuff. But me, I think I'm going to keep them just because this is the look of the suit based on concept art as opposed to the look of the suit in the film. I might paint them, I might change them at a late date, but for now I'm not that upset with them. And here is obviously the integrated suit that was also part of this wave. Um, and uh, it was actually my figure of the year just because it was so cool to have in hand. Um, and it's still one of my favourite Spider-Man looks, or MCU Spider-Man looks to date. But this black and gold suit, what can I say? There isn't a huge amount that I can say that I haven't said about previous Spider-Man suits. Um, obviously you've got the web swinging hands, and instead of wall crawling hands or closed fist hands, you've got these gripping hands, so he can hold on to the web accessory that you do get in various other Spider-Man um, releases, but you didn't get it in this one. So you've got the, the web gripping hands, but you haven't got the web to actually grip onto. Um, but I think it's quite a cool look. I think it's quite a cool look. It would have been nice to have maybe got a mobile phone or a cell phone accessory because obviously when he wore this suit he taped the, the cell phone to his chest so that uh, Ned and MJ could see where he was going. And this is obviously the suit that he wore in the part of the film where he located Sandman and Electro. Um, it would have been nice as well maybe if they'd given us the kind of gauntlets that he wore because obviously Doctor Strange had kind of put a spell on these gauntlets so that he could web the villains and it would send them to the Sanctum. So there we go. So there's the three MCU Spider-Man No Way Home suits that we have to date. Now, me massively mind reading and looking into the future. There's three suits here, three Spider-Men from a film that obviously gave us three Spider-Men. So I'm really hoping there is a review in the future where I've got these three uh, or three characters stood next to each other all side by side. Looks like they're holding hands the way that I've stood them, so that wasn't intentional, but hey, it, it makes them look nice. Look, they're all holding hands, they're all pleased with each other. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's a fun suit, it's good to have. I'll probably take a couple of pictures of him and then he'll end up on my Spider-Man or my MCU uh, display, my collection there. But overall, I'm not massively disappointed. I know some people were really disappointed because I ran out and bought this, this suit thinking it was the kind of the new suit of the film. Um, along with the uh, integrated suit, and then it turned out to be a real kind of one scene wonder. But it's, you know, it played a part of the film, it played a part of the story, so to actually have it on the shelf, I'm not I'm not going to complain. Um, he's very poseable, he's obviously got the butterfly joints in the shoulders, he's got the, uh, the, the double jointed knees and elbows as well. And he's got the, the ankle pivot and the wrist swivel, and obviously his head can move around as well. And because he's the same mold as the other Spider-Man, you can put the unmasked head on him as well. So I think that's what I'll probably do for some photographs. But I'll just get him into a bit of a random pose just to finish this video off. But yeah, all in all, I would say if you're building Armadillo, build a figure, then obviously you're going to have to pick him up. Um, if you're a fan of MCU Spider-Man, then I'd recommend picking him up as well. I think he'll probably end up being like the Night Monkey figure that we got in the... Um, the far from home wave 
and people won't jump to pick him up to start to start with but then they'll regret it and they'll be chasing him later at a later date so keep your eyes open for him and do keep your eyes on my other five minute figure reviews please like share and subscribe if you're enjoying those i'm re reviewing the rest of the wave so do check those out but that's it black and gold spider-man see you soon